Hi, this is Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video, we're going to discuss auto sizing of reference planes. Often you open up a part and it may look something um, like this. So we've got a lot of planes and they're not really sized to the geometry of the part. Um, you probably know that you can select the plane and you can grab a reference point here to uh, make it larger or smaller and, and and we could certainly do that but let me show you a little bit easier and quicker way to do that if we right mouse click the plane we can say auto size and that will size the plane to approximately the size of a boundary boundary box uh, which would be a box the part would fit in plus about 10% um, so it would look something, the bounding box on this part would look like our, our blue box there. Okay. Now, um, let's go ahead and, uh, and auto size our other two uh, main planes here. And um, you might have noticed that uh, this plane right here um, uh, doesn't have the auto size command on it. Well, w what's going on with this particular plane is it happened to be created through a face. Right, it was created to this face here and um, at an offset of 1.15. So, um, just to demonstrate what's going on with this one, if we were to uh, edit this feature and make it uh, a little bit bigger, you can see that that plane now resizes to that. Okay, so if you wanted to, to resize that individually, you can still do that. And then when you right mouse click, auto size is going to go back to uh, its original default size. Hopefully that gives you some good ideas and uh, shed some light on, uh, on working with uh, planes in your part. My name is Tim Roberts. Thanks for watching this quick tip video.